Hello and welcome to this week's video roundup. My name's Sean O'Neill and I'll be taking you through my three favourite science videos of the week. Now man has always yearned to fly, but has a fly ever yearned to drive? First we go to Switzerland to report on a driving simulator built for fruit flies. Simon David tells all. Brad Nelson, a roboticist at the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology, has turned the concept of a flight simulator back to front. Instead of allowing people to feel like they're flying, his simulator gives flies a taste of what it's like to be earthbound. A fruit fly inside the simulator controls the movement of a wheeled robot driving around a forest of pillars. Output from the robot's camera generates patterns shown to a tethered fly on a cylindrical display of light-emitting diodes. Although the hapless fly cannot move, the patterns fool the fly to think it can, so it tries to dodge obstacles when they appear. At the same time, cameras monitor the life force and movements of the fly's wing and translate the data into instructions that direct the robot around the obstacles. Nelson and his colleagues hope that by gaining an insight into how the modest fruit fly can perform such complex tasks, they'll be able to create better control systems for robots. A software version of the fly's nervous system could eventually produce flight control software for tiny robotic flies. Now, could steam give electricity and biofuel a run for their money in the green car market? Here's Simon again to tell us of a Swiss engineer who's built a steam-powered prototype. This may look like an ordinary smart car, but take a closer look and you'll see that it's powered by steam. Forget batteries or biofuels, Swiss engineer Roger Waller thinks that steam could be used to power cars in the future. Roger has spent years building high-tech steam engines and retrofitting them into locomotives around Europe. These engines are far cleaner than the ones they replace and can be found filling carriages up mountains in Switzerland and Austria, as well as powering some of Switzerland's lake steamers such as the Montreux. So what about his latest invention, the Thermomobile? The idea is to create a new generation of runabouts which can store heat in onboard tanks in the form of steam and then use this heat to drive a small steam engine. Rather than burning fuel on board, the car would recharge at charging units, from which steam produced in a stationary boiler would be fed into the vehicle's insulated storage tank. When the vehicle is switched on, the steam is fed into a steam engine where the hot vapour is used to drive cylinders, so the only emissions on the road are water vapour. At present, Roger's prototype thermomobile can drive for 40 minutes averaging 10.5 kilometres per hour, making it just a thing for short trips and commutes. Now all he has to do is convince the drivers. Some experts believe that when birds sing, it reflects the state of their own happiness. This next clip shows just how true that is. Researchers at the Riken Brain Science Institute in Japan have just published a report showing that specific reward centres in the brain were strongly activated when male birds sang to attract females. This finch is currently alone, but look how his song changes when put in the presence of two attractive females. This study provides the clearest evidence so far that singing to a female is rewarding for male birds. This may not be surprising, of course, as such courtship is a necessary step in producing offspring, and so it really should be a positive experience. That's all for this week, but do remember there are plenty more science and technology stories on our website, newscientist.com, including the scorpion venom that could treat cancer, meteorites that may reveal Martian fossils, the Viking mice that colonised Great Britain, and we posed the question, were pterosaurs too big to fly? See you next time.